everyone says, okay, they're going to fix it. It's going to come to some kind of an agreement. If it doesn't, though, what do you tell President Biden that the economic impact could be? How do you prep him for that? I feel like last time, what was Wall Street execs that like marched on DC and said, guys, you got to fix this and this is why. I don't know if Congress is going to listen to Wall Street CEOs this time around. President Biden has been to this very unfortunate rodeo uh, too many times to need, uh, you know, a deep prep from uh, from his team on the economic consequences. He knows what they would be. Um, what he also knows is that he is here to. Uh, make sure that this economy stays on track, much like the numbers you and I have discussed for the last few minutes. You know, when you've got a GDP at 2.9 percent, an unemployment rate at a 50-year low, 11 million job creations. I, to I told you about the manufacturing uh, gains in that regard. Six months of consecutive declines in the year-over-year -year rate of inflation. Um, it's never a good time to play political mm. games with the with the debt ceiling, and it is. And he knows that uh, it's a particularly awful time now. And that's why he's been very clear. He is happy to uh, talk with anybody about policies that will both help on the fiscal side and achieve his agenda on behalf of middle class and working Americans. But if your idea is to hold this economy hostage uh, for the purpose of cutting Social Security and Medicare, you do not have a partner in the White House.